Aquarius, 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 what's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aquarian for January 2019? Hmm? Hmm? Alchemic shit going on? Signs and symbols and spirit guides communicating, honing new spiritual gifts, a new sense of awareness, looking at life, people, places, and things with new eyes, are we? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, y'all, I cuss. So look out, I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, all right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can resonate with you better without the profane language. But me, <laughs> I'm a cuss. New subscribers, old subscribers, you guys, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We all family. I really don't like to kind of put a cap on family, new, old. We all family. So for those uh, new subscribers, welcome to the family. Will it dysfunctional? We don't fight. We don't fuss. We do that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, all right? We cry. We evolve. We share, we love one another, and we grow. Positive shit only, all right? This is not a general. I'm sorry, it's not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the, within the description. I am doing readings up until the 10th of January, 2019. After those dates, I'm going to take about a week or two for show for show of an all-the-way break. And then I will be opening up. Um, and I'll, I'll be posting it in the community tab when I open up to um, actually accept emergency readings. And I'll do like a max of like three. Y'all need a break break. I ain't want no break in the My, my channel going to make a year, January 26th. Y'all, we're going to make a year. We're going to make a year, January 26, 2019. I'm very excited, y'all. Thank you so much for this year for allowing me to share my love, my light, you guys, my wisdom, my clarity with you guys. Thank you, uh, thank you all just for receiving me and being supportive. I appreciate you guys a million, billion, gazillion, jillion. I love you all, and I promise I will not let you down going forward, going in 2019, y'all, this is a journey, and we trucking, we can't look back, because if we look back, we might trip over some shit that's in front of us, so, you know, you guys, it's been quite the journey, 2018, I didn't even think, y'all, there was some days when I didn't think I was going to push through, I had some days I didn't want to get out the damn bed, I was just like, oh my goodness, but it was your love and your support, your positivity that got me up and pushed me through, so thank you so, family. I truly appreciate you guys. Um, to my likes, my shares, my comments in advance. Y'all, thank you. I really appreciate it, all right? So, um, y'all don't be mad. We ain't doing no mid-month for January, okay? But I will be back like the Fast and the Furious for the February Generals to rock and roll, all right? I am kind of switching up my structure and kind of figuring out what works for me. I'm also, I've been going through this little light activation. Um, so, some things... And in Virgo video, I had like a whole two downloads, and I <laughs> and we just kept it going. So if you was cross watching for a Virgo, look here, you may see uh, moments in my face where I was like, yeah, just because y'all look out. <laughs> It gets serious, all right? Every time we have feminine moon cycles with this eclipse that just occurred, as well as the new moon in Capricorn, whenever we have feminine moon cycles, I'm always receiving and I'm always having to really protect my energy because I'm hella empathic. And for some reason, spirit puts me all in people's business during that time. So with that, you know, again, it's a journey, all right? If I see it, I'm going to say it, we're going to roll. I'm a really so just got to take it as it go, all right? So without further ado, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Aquarius. 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 What's popping? All right? So your first message comes from um, the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. You guys got Archangel Jeremio. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings that you will soon understand. So understand that the things, for those of us who are feeling like we have entire moments, look what the hell is coming next, what the hell, who the hell, what do I run to, stop running. Turn around and look that shit in the face and tell that you're not scared anymore. Because if you truly, really, if you really, really, really assess and really reflect and do a kind of a rewind on life, as far as your life review, a lot of you Aquarians will find that within this year where a lot of y'all have felt like y'all have needed people, y'all have really set yourself up for disappointments to find that if you really sit up and think about it, yeah, them people was there, but who was doing the work? Who brought the creativity to the table? Who was nurturing projects? Who was nurturing projects? Who was putting financial aspects on the table and making shit move? Who was growing? Who was growing shit? Who was truly manifesting everything around you? 
there's a need for you all to relinquish this control over, okay, well, now I don't know about that, so I'm not going to go that way. I don't know about that because I don't want your blessings are in damn things that you cannot control going forward in this three year, okay? Expansion is inevitable. That's going to happen regardless for you, but it's not going to happen in a, from a place of subconscious fear. Some of you all are receiving downloads during this time as well because you are spiritual teachers. So you're going through this particular circumstance and you're going through these situations so that you can help assist other people. For some of you all, you're, you're kind of leaving jobs because ultimately your task is done there. You've done all of the enlightenment that you, you've, you've brought all of the enlightenment that you can bring to that place. You've brought all of your whole self. And for some of you all, there's this need of wanting, there's this want of, there's this want of, more. I need more. I need more. And for some of you all, people around you are trying to kind of project the fact that you're selfish for needing more. But no, fuck that. I work my ass off. So yeah, I need more. But there's also this sense of comfort. You get what I'm saying? And as far as it pertains, as far as it pertains to children, home, family, that confidence definitely supported. But there's even still a balance with that shit. You know, you got to shift and shake during this time, Aquarius. All right. So let's get it. The message I got before I laid some cards because that was just really strongly in my heart space and spirit. You know, with Claire Audience, for those of you who are also Claire Audience, you know how that works for some of us. Uh, for, there are some Claire Audience um, individuals who hear things in their heart space. There are me, my ear get the ringing, and I ain't gonna lie, y'all had my shit sound like a whole fax machine. I couldn't even hear my damn self think. I was like, hold on, hold on, all this shit, write it down in my little. In my little palm pilot and in my, in my handy dandy mental notepad, you know. But um, for those things, some of you guys are, and I spoke about clear audience because some of you guys are honing new spiritual abilities during this time. Trust yourself and the things that you feel, okay? All right, so spiritual messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarians for the month of January 2019? Hmm. Pathways. Unknown pastures, baby. It's time for you to complete life cycles. Some of you guys will be wrapping up life cycles. I, I also uh, feel this is also tied to some type of like past life karmic cycles. But some of you guys are definitely completing cycles. And I feel like for some of you all, it has to do with balance, okay? The balance that comes within you. Are you ready to create a cycle? Create. You're ready to complete a cycle now that you have found this place of balance. For some of you all, you're moving towards pastures of the unknown that requires you to actually make a living and actually see abundance and create that prosperity based off of your creativity. So for those of you who are artists, for those of you who are any type of any type of like um fashion fashion of or like anything that you create Aquarians this goes for fashion I'm literally I'll I, I, every time there's a few of you medicine women who tune in to my channel spirit is literally pushing you those alchemic symbols that you've been seeing in your dreams they're moving you towards your soul growth soul remembrance some y'all during this time are going to be kind of dipping back and forth in between past lives and this life and I feel like it's more for instructional purposes because for some of you all spirit is giving you a little assistance to get out your damn head and up on your feet as far as movement because I definitely feel with this there is a rebirth baby a fresh start, a new beginning, new path that you actually manifested yourself. But there's this need for you to not be afraid to be vulnerable during this time, not be afraid to express that feminine energy that lives within Aquarians, not be afraid to share your wisdom. Okay, because for some of you all, it's in doing so that you're going to move towards your blessings. Some of you all are removing situations as well as people, places, and things that make you feel like make you feel like somebody else is pulling the strings and cause you any type of internal damn discord. You just like I'm I'm not with the shits. Some of you guys, things are definitely lining aligning together to bring stability into your world, but there's this need of you really needing to trust you because for some of you all Aquarians. It's all having to do with alchemy. I literally heard the word reincarnation. So however that resonates, some of you guys could also be receiving or communicating with someone. Um, some of y'all are learning how to astral travel this month. And in doing so, you're communicating with um, your ancestors as well as loved ones that passed on. And, and some of you all, I'm literally hearing karmic bondage. 
someone, you guys, there's some type of soul contract or soul bondage. Some of you guys could also be researching information during this time about deities and reoccurrences as far as like life path or life, like past life that you have been connected to someone else in Egypt. I'm definitely here. Um, I'm definitely hearing the deceiver, the deceiver. Some of you guys could actually be, um, yeah, coming coming into terms with that masculine and that feminine aspect within the self. And so you're taking all of those feminine ideas and all of that information that create of those creative and kind of spirit filled ideas, you know, and actually moving on them with that masculine energy. And I feel like it has to do with your life path and your life purpose. And because it is infinitely, it's infinite and it's actually faded within your destiny to be successful in your creative endeavors, my baby, you realizing during this time, I hold, I got the keys, the keys, the keys, I got the keys, the keys, the keys, Aquarius, a lot of you all are moving toward what is infinitely destined for you, for some of you all, you really, some of y'all could definitely be receiving some type of message from spirit, those of you who have, who could have lost a child, uh, this could have been five weeks ago, five months ago, I definitely feel like that baby is going to be communicating with you on a dimensional on a dimensional level you could have also lost someone who you have children with for some of you all you really needed to pay attention to your dreams and not be afraid of having real life conversations with ancestors with ancestors who you possibly never met before like they actually older than the time that you actually living in all right for those of you who have been seeing those alchemic symbols some of you all during this time will be look will be finding different um sigils and things of that nature as well as like alchemic symbols in order to assist you in manifesting in order to assist you with actually building like visual visualization boards to be able to manifest what it is that you want um and how you want it to come with no in-betweens and no cuts but some of you all those of you who are artists those of you who play instruments those of you who actually create things those of you who are painters who are writers who are um literally magician some of you guys are healers some of you all are holistic you you you, you want to practice holistic um or going to some type of holistic um career however you're needing to further your education now is the time to move on it don't wait until your birthday well, i'm waiting until my birthday because no 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 release those damn aspects of yourself that causes the tell the damn spirit of procrastination you can't live here the spirit of fear you can't live here the spirit of temptation some of you guys there is someone who i feel that is in your energy okay and i feel like for some of you all this could definitely be a twin flame or a karmic soulmate or a past life soulmate someone is definitely um literally trying to pull the wool over your eyes when it comes to the form of illusions this person could also have some type of attachment or some type of like spiritual bond uh with your children okay and i feel like this person a lot of y'all are really resisting resisting um temptation during this time and i feel like you're really needing to trust yourself and go with that because for some of y'all y'all dodging a bullet for some of you all you're going to put that damn weight down i'm tired of carrying the weight of other people for some of you all you're really finding the balance and just making everything work in a soulmate relationship and i feel like you're going to come to terms to the fact that i'm doing everything myself but some of you all you're going to also see with with new eyes that someone is telling you what you want to hear and feeding from feeding Pretty much maintaining a soulmate relationship with you by getting what they want by keeping you in a place of doubt or fear or or dumbing you down and making you feel as if they're smaller than you. But every time you may um, catch this person in something that they say, they, they, they have a way with words. But I feel like this person going to talk themselves right in a goddamn circle, right in a damn circle around the house out the door, okay? Because for some of you all, you've been really working on yourself. For some of you all, you've been researching very mystic things for some of you all I'm, I'm hearing comedic so some of you all are going back to ancestral roots in order to uh be able to decode some of the spiritual messages or some of the number number synchronizations that you've been seeing from your angels during this time or from your master numbers some people may call them but i definitely feel like there's a closing of a cycle there's a releasing of a cycle that i feel like once kept you in this childlike illusion all right, and I feel like this childlike illusion because I feel like some of you all are dealing with people or have dealt with people in the past who have literally 
build the foundations of you guys' bond by making you feel as if you need them. But when you really look around after the work, that really look around and really look at your efforts and, you know, where it was that you really put your energy and the things that you're able to create with your damn self. Aquarius, you don't need nobody but yourself. Yourself and the universe. Do you understand? Yourself and God. Do you understand? Yourself and your and, and your creations. Do you understand? And the belief in yourself because your belief is what actually moves your intention into setting that manifestation for your reality where you can see it. You did that. You are the master manifester. So during this time, watch your thoughts. Try to stay in a positive places because you're in a positive mind frame because your thoughts are manifesting very quickly. So with that said, for those of you who are using sigils and things of that nature to actually manifest what you want, you really need to capitalize on this new moon energy as well as this eclipse energy, okay? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, for some of you all, you're really releasing, releasing those tears that's been projected on you even with some type of tie to religion as well. You know, you're just releasing that. You're just really focusing on expansion and what expansion is and fulfillment is and what it is that your heart truly desires, whether it includes or not includes another person, people, place, or thing. All right? So let's get it. Spirit, what message do you have for my beautiful Aquarius for the month of January? What advice do you have for them in finances, Aquarius? Messages do you have? My beautiful Aquarians. And career for the month of January 2019. Alright. Some of you all are going to actually have the um the opportunity to actually go back to a job during this time, especially um if someone possibly had to leave due to like taking care of another family member or possibly leave due to like taking care of maybe children or something of that nature, I do see some of you all, um, some of you all you will be having, um, for those of you who wasn't receiving any type of financial assistance when it comes to your children's mother, children's father, I do see this person actually stepping up and actually offering you that help and assistance so that you can actually move forward going in January. I do feel like it's going to be slow moving, all right? But for those of you who are, oh, yeah, those of you who actually work in... And I feel like this has to do with, like, some type of, like, court systems and things of that nature. Some of you all are literally dropping the burdens as far as carrying the weight in relationships and setting those damn boundaries. And I feel like for some of y'all, y'all going to be able to save more damn money when you get this extra damn burden out your hair, okay? Straight like that. But some of you all, for some of y'all, you really hate your job. I feel like you, some of y'all got a Gemini Libra Aquarius boss that talk to you crazy at work. I definitely feel like whomever this is, this could be tied to some type of government job. This could be, um, I'm hearing, um, correctional facility. I'm also hearing, um, oh shit. I hear correctional facility and I also hear, um, manage, what is this? Manage case, manage case. Some of you could actually do some type of, cause I'm trying to figure out what the hell manage case means. Some of you guys could also do some type of social work or some sort, but I feel like you've lost your passion for what it is that you do. I feel like you keep your feelings to yourself, ultimately. But for those of you who have been waiting to hear uh, from some type of application that you could have put out maybe in the month of December or it could have been earlier, like the first week of January, I do see you guys hearing back from that place um, or back from that that company somewhere within the second going into the third week of February, but in the going into February, you guys are going to be set financially. Some of y'all are having to walk away from some type of financial institution. Some of y'all going to leave y'all damn job. And I feel like it has to do with your peace is way more damn important. Some of you guys, there is changes coming to a work front. Some of y'all could actually be, um, some of you guys could actually be transferring, transferring some type of location at the current job that you work at. Some of you all, um, there may be some type of fast moving communication that really, and, and, and for some of you all, you, there's a need for you not to settle and really put a cap on life when it comes to finances. 
actually making a move and there's like for some y'all it's like destined change for those of you who are getting let go from your job just know that spirit has greater coming for you that, that you had to let go okay because greater is coming for those of you who have been wanting to take that leap of faith and actually get more information as far as entrepreneurship or bank loans and grants, I definitely feel like it's time to move forward on anything that you're trying to create, any type of entrepreneurship. For those of you who work, who do any type of intuitive work or or some type of healers or make some type of holistic process, I mean products, I definitely feel like. Us as the collective, we definitely need your we need your services. I definitely feel like you need to get more information as far as grants and um, assistance as far as um, bank loans. But for those of you who are looking to apply or you was kind of in your head about actually going to apply for a bank loan, go right ahead, especially if you were just kind of push out your damn job. For some of you, um, some of y'all actually may have someone who you financially depend on, okay? I definitely feel like some y'all actually may this some of y'all may discover that someone who you had in your home who you was like loving on or someone some type of soulmate relationship, okay? I definitely feel like someone could have taken some type of financial loss with someone being there. Some of y'all are going to um really be coming to terms that somebody is really a financial blockage to you. Okay, they're a financial burden to you. One thing about a karmic relationship, I tell anybody Look to your money first to, to know if you're dealing with a karmic. Usually when you're dealing with karmic relationships or karmic situationships, those things usually bring everything into your, in your life to a halt. Do you understand? Look to it and, and, and go back and reflect. When you're dealing with a karmic, chances are money slow up. When you begin to lose your job, lose your home, lose your car, yeah, you're going to lose that motherfucker. Okay, it's time for them to go. But some of y'all are definitely going to be moving away from possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could also be a Gemini, Leapo, Aquarius, or air, I mean, or fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Due to just third party shit, y'all moving away from, you know, being somebody's third party. For some of y'all, because you moved away from someone for a third party, I feel like you were trying to be fair and just, especially if you have children with this person or like there were children made on a low. Some of y'all are definitely going to uh call a spade a spade. And some of y'all are going to be taking people to court and justice will definitely work in your favor, okay? But I feel like this is more so about fairness, not about not about spite. I don't feel the, the, the I don't feel the bitter emotion. I don't feel a bitter vibration. I feel more so fairness. And I feel like I've been in my head about it over and over again. I don't know what else to do. And for some of you all, yeah, you're not allowing karmic cycles to end and it is kind of causing some type of restraint on your finances. And it's also this fear of feeling like you need it or seeing what you do not have. Start speaking it in your life as if you live in it, have it, and you can spend it already. And so shall and, and so it shall be unto you. Okay. But yeah, you guys definitely need to follow your passions. Follow your passions. Whatever it is that you're creating. Some of you guys do hair. I do see that flourishing during this time. Some of you all, somebody definitely has a clothing line. I, I definitely see that flourishing. Some of you all are spiritual teachers. We need more light workers in the community. Do you understand? Come on down. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Send me your page. I support you, damn it. Because I definitely feel that if for, some, for some of you all, you release that fear and just follow your dreams and pour your damn creativity and your, your investing yourself as much as you give these other people damn companies, you are going to be independent. You are going to flourish. Whatever it is that you have been working on or maybe you worked on in the past that did not fucking work, okay, I definitely feel like you need to actually jump out there and take a shot on it. I'm going to need... Some of you all to get out of this toxic mindset of feeling like you stat you, you you trap you stuck you can't move you 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 are the creator of your destiny dream desire de be determined and actually hit the deck on that shit and go make it happen you are Aquarius what the hell all right let's get it I definitely see financial endeavors to be good entrepreneurship. Great energy for entrepreneurship and actually leaving toxic work situations that, that just don't fulfill you anymore. Just know that it's, it's way better on the other side. You just got to get past that fear to get that to find out. If you never move, you'll never know. All right? Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarians in love for the month of January? What messages do you have for my Aquarians in love? January 2019. Thank you, Spirit. 
Yeah. Some of you guys are releasing yourself from some type of uh, partnership. Some of you guys are literally, I feel like some of y'all feel stuck in a marriage, stuck in some type of um, contract with somebody. This could also be, I'm here in child support. And some of y'all really kind of feel overlooked or maybe you just kind of, yeah, some of y'all feel stuck in a marriage. And I feel like whomever this is, you really want to move forward, okay? You really want to move forward and kind of just focus on what it is that really makes you happy. But some of you all, you're moving away from a water sign who kind of makes you feel, or maybe some of y'all, maybe some of y'all is water sign. I got Pisces here. I got Taurus here, okay? But I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're really moving away from the vibration of feeling not enough or, you know, as if you don't have enough. You're moving away from that. And because you're moving away from that, you're going to see forward movement in your love life, okay? For some of you all, I definitely feel like some of y'all could actually be watching, okay? Or, um, yeah, I feel like some of y'all are dealing with someone who kind of leaves you feeling confused. Like, when you actually deal with this damn person, they make they make you feel confused or they make you doubt your intuition. I'm going to need you during this time to trust what it is that you're feeling about some type of partnership or some type of um, dynamic. Or I really feel like this is love, okay? For some of you all, y'all kind of being manipulated in love. And during this time, I see you actually acknowledging that shit to move forward. Like, really recognizing and valuing your worth, you know? I'm not with the shit. Love is not manipulation. Love is not narcissism. Love is compromise, compassion, and selflessness. I'll be damned if you try and pull the strings on me. Uh, let me go and cut it. Cut the puppy show down to a minimum. But some of you all, you're going to be moving forward possibly with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be someone very, very, very intuitive. I feel that some of you all are going to have some type of messages or clarity coming forward that could cause could cause a tower moment, okay, with this union. I definitely feel like for those of you who, yeah, for some of you all, you could be getting messages of clarity regarding someone's financial situation. Maybe someone actually made you a, 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 a stable financial offer, but then surely y'all gonna find out that this person really ain't got it how they say they got it. And this could come from someone's mother or someone's having like someone, this could even be coming from your mother, where some of y'all have some type of communication coming in. Especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Pisces, another Aquarian. Yeah, I definitely feel like some of y'all are going to feel left out in the cold or feel played or betrayed because you're going to find out that someone was given to two situations. But whomever this is, this is this, this is this TNT and ass person. So this is someone who you're supposed to then walk away from Aquarius. This is just a catalyst situation to allow you to release yourself, all right, from that vibration of feeling confused, from feeling stuck, from feeling trapped, from feeling like you need to heal. Some of you guys are just releasing your damn burdens around a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you focus on a new beginning, okay, possibly with the Capricorn or with the Gemini. I feel like for some of you all, you're going to receive some type of communication. You, Someone who you have, some of y'all have children with somebody who really communicate very childishly. And some of you guys are going to be offered a chance of forgiveness, possibly um, from your children, especially if you have daughters or if you have, um, if you have maybe like young children, okay? I definitely feel like, especially if you have some type of some type of connection with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like some of you guys had some type of family dynamic or some type of structure, all right? But I definitely feel like for some of you all, this person could have moved away. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you all had to kind of really be courageous during during the process of that split in the past. But I feel like this person is wanting to return and actually move forward in some type of a cycle, but you got somebody in your energy already that's trying to prevent that. Someone is really not communicating with you. And some of y'all going to find out that somebody is only around for your money, okay? I hate to say it, Aquarius, but as soon as you tell a motherfucker no, they're going to show you who they is, all right? For some of you all, there are some type of, uh, for those of you who are waiting for some type of decision in court or with some type of litigation or court matters. I do see by the third week and going into the end of January, I do see things settling out and it's going to bring some type of change. All right. Especially when it comes to, uh, for some of you all where you live, I am here in properties. So some of you all may be inheriting properties and actually like selling them. All right. Which may cause an uproar with somebody's mama. I see, but look out if your ass ain't helping finance me, don't, I, I can't give a fuck about what you talk about. All right. Shit, two tears in the bucket, fuck it. Some of y'all are going to definitely find out that you possibly had, um, some of y'all could have actually had, um, 
Something that could be found out about a third party situation, especially if you're dealing or you're connected with the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or this could be you, Aquarian, and someone could have put you in a third party situation with a uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, especially if this person is a water sign. And I feel like this person, this could be someone who they have children with. And it's going to cause an uproar. It's going to cause an uproar because I definitely feel like Aquarius. But for the most part, whomever this is, you guys were tired. I got everybody here. Fire, air, earth, and water. But I definitely feel like Aquarius are moving away from anything that makes them feel less than. You're really focusing on your stability. You're really focusing on move, moves forward. A lot of you all are focusing on investments and really just cutting situations out that you don't see victory moving forward in. Like, fuck it. For some of you all, there is some type of truth and clarity coming regarding a Sagittarian, all right? And I feel like this could have to do with a Sagittarius person as well as the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I definitely feel like... Sagittarius and Pisces are very important, as well as Taurus and Libra for some of you all. But I feel like someone is trying to hold on to someone with, someone is trying to control, pretty much control, how can I put this? Someone's trying to control the way that you see yourself, Aquarian, to make you feel as if you need them. Because they're kind of resisting this change. Because I feel like someone knows that they finna get the goddamn boot. Because there's an ace of cups that's trying to happen. And for some of you all, you have someone who's really trying to pull the damn puppetry. Some of y'all are dealing with narcissists. And you're releasing that shit. You're releasing that vibration from the past. You know, the present as well as going forward in the future. You're not having it. You're not with the shits, alright? For some of you all, you have a fire sign. There is Leo Sagittarius that's coming in, um... Real, I feel like some of y'all don't even see it coming. But this person is coming in to give you closure or clarity regarding in the cycle. For some of you all, this could be someone who actually passed over on the other side, all right? And for some of you all, definitely, some of y'all, this person is communicating the baby. Or you telling this person that you're done. I'm walking away. But some of y'all, there is a major transformation happening within you as well as within your spiritual evolution, your spiritual growth and spiritual expansion. And for some of you, you're keeping it to yourself. Because you really sharpening your damn, sharpening that sword. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know you, I know you've been with that fuckery. <laughs> but I ain't gonna say shit, cause shit. I see this money coming up in him. But for some of you all, there's truth and clarity regarding some type of soul contract tie. I say that due to the fact that I see this man here. This little, uh, this comedic, when I saw you comedic, some of you guys have Egyptian past life ties. And you really needed to get to the bottom of something, especially if you're communicating with your ancestors or someone who you could, um, this could be an Aries deal, Sagittarius, who could have passed over on the other side. But you are going to receive some clear and accurate messages, okay, that is going to actually put you in that place where you want to be as far as building solid foundations and firm, firm stable fucking foundations okay before you can actually be open to accepting a soulmate relationship but some of you all it's taking that leap of faith and really just trusting within yourself and being not afraid to jump off that damn cliff take jump off that damn cliff and take that cup but some of y'all you're moving away from a water sign you're walking away from them all together and just really working on your finances working on your structure of your home okay for some of y'all if you're not trying to have a baby or some of you all could be trying to work to have a baby with the soulmate. This could also be an Aries person. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This could also be a Leo. But I feel like someone is coming out of this energy of fighting. Fight, trying to put up a fight. You know. To control things. You know. Things that they really didn't understand. I definitely feel like some of y'all are definitely going in this period of solitude. After some type of. Um, and it could be around this next moon cycle. Especially seeing that. It, seeing that it. it seeing that it is a feminine moon, all right? But for those of you who possibly have that little Virgo rising or maybe this Virgo moon, for those of you who have a Pisces moon or you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, I definitely see something being illuminated. Some of you all, there is someone who's trying to block your spiritual sight, but you're really needing to detach your energy from their energy and really, really, really trust in what you feel and allow spirit to actually openly talk. For some of you all, you've been wishing for the father of your children to return or manifest, okay? Or trying to manifest this person. For some of you all, I see you getting what you want because you're the motherfucking empress. I see you manifesting everything that your heart desires within love. For some of y'all, you got a water sign juggling you and an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this will be illuminated. So I feel like during this during this period of reflection y'all really 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 
Hold on to your chi. Protect your energy. And really, really, really trust yourself. You did not feel it for no reason. You guys are going through a very, 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 a very, a very special shift. Some of you guys are expanding as far as, um, and some of you guys, maybe you were having issues last month with your root chakra as well as your solar plexus, but I definitely feel like there's some type of expansion or some type of download or some type of, some type of shifting that's coming to your solar plexus, okay, as well, I say your solar chakra, your solar plexus chakra, and with that, it's going to allow you to move, it's going to actually shift the way that you move, it's going to allow you to see situations different, some of you guys are also going through crown chakra activation, and for some of you all, you're actually being able to see certain, certain aspects of your life while you're dreaming, while within your subconscious, while you're not in this place of fear, and so because it's allowing you to see that, some of y'all are really trusting your abilities, honing it in, coming back to the 3D, doing some research, finding what the fuck you need to know and moving forward so that you can really get what it is that you truly want out of life. And that's fulfillment, balance, structure, harmony, solid foundations, honest, loyal, loyal connections. You understand? Not releasing yourself from narcissistic, controlling as emotionally manipulative as people. You're just over the shits with them. You're not moving forward. You're not taking those type of people forward in your January 2019. By the end of the month, I do see you guys get into a peaceful spot. Some of you guys are going to be um, actually celebrating some type of union with the Gemini, okay? After possibly having to leave someone out in the cold, possibly an Aries person. I feel that as soon as you guys walk away from something, you're just really going to see how things get to moving in your life real fast. And you're just going to kind of be like, damn, you mean to tell me? I just had to get that motherfucker the big boot and tell him go pit and pat and I was going to be straight? Do you mean to tell me? Spirit, let me assist me in keeping moving forward, okay? Y'all, I see nothing but prosperity, but you really need to take a leap of faith and don't be afraid of the, don't be afraid of the unknown. Y'all going to find beautiful blessings in the unknown. Just go for it. Trust yourself if you don't trust nothing else. Life, have, life should have taught you that. The last year should have taught you that. A lot of y'all had to experience people who you just, the, the main people who you thought was going to have your back, it wasn't them people. But spirit sent the right motherfuckers in your life, your 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 soul family in your in your in your sector to assist you in evolving, to assist you in feeling as if you belong. Some of you all may be joining social groups or some type of like religious communities during this time, you know, and it's more so to move on the things that you're passionate about, to actually give your passions a voice, to actually speak upon the things that actually that you're really passionate about, that you actually want to see manifest. Some of you guys, I'm hearing non-profit organizations. Some of you all are really wanting to know what to do with your time, what to do, what to do, what activities can you do to give back as well as build up. Uh, Build up, build that relationship and spend time with your children. I'm literally hearing nonprofit organizations, maybe given to charity. Some of you guys may be given to charity during this time, but there's definitely this sense of newness on Aquarius and this prosperous energy, baby. Whatever you, what you want, wants you. Be one with the vibration of prosperity, okay? So think it, see it, be it, do it, all right? I love y'all very much. I send you guys many blessings, much love, much, much, much prosperity, you guys. Much light. Namaste. This is what I have for you guys. If you need that personal, hit me up. Bye, boos. Till February.